Hi guys, so you once again welcome to Minister Ivan's piano class and here we break everything down for you. Now I'm looking for people who said it's not impossible for you to play the keyboard and I'm, we will prove them right that it's possible for you to play the keyboard. And um, if today is your first day meeting this channel, please subscribe to this channel, like this video and put your comments in the comment section now. <laughs> Let's move on to our lesson today. I'm going to teach you the powerful way of playing strings. This and these chords, no one has ever taught you, right? No one has ever taught you. Now, people are finding it difficult to, you know, um, they say that, oh, how can I play this song? Like, how, how can I, you know, play the song at the same time? Like, uh, my right hand is playing the song and uh, the left hand to what does it play when the right hand is playing the song maybe they want to play that as they play should this one to be playing bad no no now i'm going to teach that probably in this video or our next video but let me let me teach you this very important thing before we go there now when you want to play a powerful strings i'm going to teach you let's say basically four rules that governs a powerful play of strings why i'm just putting more pressure more pressure on strings is because most of the people think strings is just following the progression so when it goes too far you go too far no they will no you see your strings will never carry anointing and they will always go and bring another person to come and play the keyboard for you just sit, sit down and learn. So let's let me teach you these secrets. This is the this is what makes the difference between you and the person that maybe you, you feel is playing the strings right. Now watch this. So um, first of all, let me start with you. When you want to play, people make this mistake. Yes. So stop making this mistake. The first one is stop playing strings that does not have any definition. When I say it like that, that does not have any formula. Stop playing strings. That does not, you see, you don't see how it sounds. You are just playing strings because when the singer is coming to, the minister is coming to sing it, they say play something. You just, the person told you his or her key. You just set the strings and... If you were going to sing and they played this for you, how would you sing? But you bear witness with me that, you see, you are laughing. Most of us do this. Yes. Like, it's because you are play, You have seen someone playing or you heard someone played a, a particular powerful chord. Particular powerful chord. That chord carries power. Instead of you to, you know, learn or get a good mentor to teach you or learn very well and... Uh, learn that chord very well you just start playing it with your mind making noise which is very 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 bad and very very wrong and you end up confusing the ministers and the singers when they say it you said they are too known no please learn very well so let me teach you this secret even if you are going to play a worship uh, intro, a powerful worship intro, you know, let me teach you how to create a powerful worship intro. You know all the inversions, you know all the chords. By the grace of God, you know Tommy So and those, do, do, like, all those chords. So you just play, you can just play do. Even the simplest way of playing a worship chord, you can just use lasso, do, right? La. When the person has not started singing yet, la simple la so do. Then you come to so, so. Then you move this hand. It's like this. So you move these two hands. You don't move this one. You move this hand. Hey, easy. La so. Easy. a 
very simple um, worshiping tool that you can play. You see, let me teach you. It's very simple. La, they come to soul. We are playing on F. And I'm singing on C. Do. The key is C, but we are playing on F. Right? So, do. So, do. Mi. Then you come to re, D or D or re. Some people call it D, some people call it re. Right? This is D. So, you, pl- you bring to, me so. Like this. For D. Then you come to re. At the upper octave, you will play T do, T do. When you play re, then you play. When you play, then you play T do. Then you move the right one to do. Then you play do like this. Do, fa la re, fa la re, fa, fa, fa. Then after playing this, instead of you to come, instead of you coming to re like this. Go, you play the, the bass and the upper octave. You move one octave higher. So you play like this. So, re, la, re, fa. Fa, so. So this is what we are trying to play. So, re, la, re, fa. That is the re. Then you play re at the upper octave. For so you use the small hand. Okay. Then you play Ray for it. So it will be like this. Then you come to Fi. You come to Fi, okay? Then you come to Fi. So something like this. Then you come to Fi. Fi, La, Do. La re fa. You see, you can also try and play this one. You see, all is a balasso do. So when you go and meet someone playing something like this, don't go and make noise. Please find a defined strength. Please, whenever you are playing strings, I'm begging you, let your strings be defined. Know that it is coming from Ray. You, you, the person playing. Some people can play strings and even them playing the string. They don't know that it is going from Ray to Fa. It's going from Ray to Me. They are just playing it because they saw someone playing heavy chords and they want to make noise and try their luck. There is nothing like trying.